What's up, family? I don't know her name, but I want to give a shout out to the young lady who went on social media and exposed how these dialysis clinics take advantage of the poor. She said, if you go to the hood right now, you'd be surprised to see how many dialysis clinics are in the hood. She gave a scenario where there may be two patients that die who needs a kidney, they die. And they got to replace those patients. So the insurance company say, yeah, man, you know, go into your network. And they're all buddy, buddy. They, yeah, we got two right here. Um, let me tell them, let me, let me make sure she taking more of this medicine right here. And uh, she gonna take it because she got kids and she want to live. So she blindly take it. She's taking this medicine when her kidneys are already in distress, the medicine is not helping her, but she's going to take it because she want to live. And so now she needs that dialysis service. She needs to go to dialysis. And this is the game they play. I'm not surprised. I would really love, if y'all know who this woman is, please get in touch with me because I would love to interview you. Man, this... It's sad, fam. We have so many people who just take medications and diagnoses blindly because we have this thing where we have just given this godlike power to the medical world, to our doctors. You know, we just take this, call me in the morning, take this, call me in the morning, take this for a week. If you feel anything, let me know. And we just take it, take it, take it, take it. We don't even do research most of the time. We just take it. Doctor say take it, I just take it. Next thing you know, you're dead. And guess what happens? Nothing to the doctor because you know what the doctors say? This is their number one, this is the number one defense for all doctors. They came to me because he was sick. He came to me because he was sick. I was just trying to help the man. See, that's how it go. So, and this don't just happen to the poor. A lot of people with money, they do the same thing. They just blindly trust these people in the medical world. They just blindly trust them. And people die every single day. And I'm talking about loads of people die every single day because of this blind trust. Don't do it, fam. Get the information you need. Don't be afraid to ask questions. And don't be afraid to do your research. You know, if you don't know, ask. They'll respect you more for it. If you don't ask any questions, you know, a lot of times the doctor will come in and they'll ask you, do you have any questions? They already, they just say that because that's what they say. But if you mess around and ask them a question, most of the time they'll go, hmm. They'll pause because they'd be surprised you asked them a question. Especially if you don't really got a real bread. They're surprised. So ask those questions. Don't be afraid to ask a question to the people who are in charge of taking care of you or your loved one. That's your right. You have a fundamental right to ask questions about your health or the health of your loved ones. And if a doctor appear to have an attitude about that, get out of there. Ask for a new doctor or a new facility. Move to another facility because they're not going to treat your people right. Some of them are very, very arrogant. Very arrogant. So y'all be careful out there, fam. Be very careful. Check on your people. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.